In general, much of my background is in you know new ways to manufacture minerals and battery metals. I've been working in that space close to 20 years. Back in end of 2014, early 2015, you know, I was one of the initial team that helped design you know, the, the Tesla battery gigafactory up in northern Nevada. So early on, we were doing you know every aspect of designing the physical facility, the cell manufacturing equipments and layouts, the utility systems, really helping to ramp up each of those manufacturing lines. And a lot of people look at the output of that facility and they see individual battery cells, they see large vehicle packs, but along every single stage of manufacturing, there are different types of wastes and defects that are made. There are individual powders, there are slurries, there are coated electrodes, there are metal scraps, there are cells and modules and packs. And especially in those days, they have a very new chemistry, a new form factor. And whenever we would have a waste product, it was very difficult to find anybody who would actually accept it or would be able to recycle it in an environmentally sustainable manner or in an economically sustainable manner. So unfortunately, in the early days, we just had large amounts of waste piling up on site. You, know, you can see the overhead shots of hundreds of tractor trailers just parked on the site, filled with waste material that we couldn't get anybody to take away. So my team and I had spent years really designing the manufacturing aspects of how you go from those very raw battery metals to the refined metals, to active products, to cells, the modules, the packs. And we realized, you know, we had the skill set that was needed to design essentially a reverse process. Instead of just taking batteries and mixing them in with other types of metal waste and burning them or grinding them up in large mixed processes, we instead developed a process that can reverse manufacture these electric vehicle batteries, these large grid stationary storage batteries, even consume electronics based batteries. So now in a much more strategic fashion, we can mechanically disassemble modules to cells, cells down to sub cell components, and then sort each of those components. We can then extract each individual metal one at a time and then purify them all the way up to the same specifications that are needed when sourcing raw metals. And we sell them right back into the same customers domestically as the conventional mining industry. So we're really taking the, the manufacturing aspect of what we did for years, designing a reverse process. And now we're building, you know, one of the largest battery recycling facilities in the world, just off in Northern Nevada outside of Reno. So towards the end of this year, as we're commissioning and ramping that plant, we'll really be implementing a lot of the circularity that has been talked about for the past few years.